What do you got? For Brian. Is that good? I don't know. Maybe that is. Chula Vista, California. Oh, that's a long way. Yeah. Oh, we'll take it. Is it, is it quite raining yet? No, it's very humid right now. It feels like it's been raining for like three weeks. Pounds. Yeah. Now that says 11 pounds. What I would have done is put one pound on the yeah, box. I'd save right. myself a ton of money. Yeah. On the UPS software, yeah, you, you pay for it later on, but originally it looks there. Uh... It looks really good on paper. <laughs> so another manifold came in. I figure I'd share this one with you because it's cracked pretty badly. It's marked obviously in pen, but you see the crack. It's cracked all the way around that front, around the mounting tab, all the way down to the flange right there. So it's quite extensive. Now I did order a hundred mice, so I'm hoping that they didn't get out. So anyway, this is more likely in, uh, in a cooler manifold or a supercharged manifold to be modified into an inner cooler manifold and this is just another reason why you should really wrap the manifold in bubble wrap and tape it and then put it in a box because this stuff this just moves around again it's just another way of showing you how easy these can come out of here this is an itr b16 manifold so hopefully the paperwork is in here hopefully it's this here, no, big John on his envelope. Okay, good. I won't show that on camera, but again, another reason. Make sure all your information is in the box. Where else are you gonna get one of these magazines, though? That's true. Bus ride magazine, bus ride maintenance. I mean, this is the exclusive maintenance resource for the transit and motor coast industry. You know how sweet one of those would be. I know. It wouldn't be sweet at all. Imagine driving that, get about two miles per gallon, you can't park, cast the other back of it. That's right. I mean, if I'm giving people two dollars. Two hour rides in town. That's true, you make some serious coin. Serious. Like right. a dollar an hour. <laughs> Supposed to be, anyways. There it is. $100,000, George. That's it? I told you if we ever get a big massive check, I'd split it with you. All right. So if you go ahead and put that in your bank and just. I know it's cut me a check for like 50 grand. All right, so the third brake light just showed up for my Colorado. This is the one that is designed to go in the the bar so i mentioned that i thought i mentioned in the video and apparently i didn't but of course the third brake light isn't really visible from back here so that light is going to go in this bar right here of course it's a dead giveaway that it's titanium i didn't do it just to say "Ooh, look it's titanium we did a little bit but it's for looks and of course i want the spotlights up here i want the third brake light in here comment below this isn't just a, a trolling pole Comment below if you think I should do it black. I mean, it doesn't go with the truck. I like it. It looks good, but it doesn't go with the truck. I got the black and blue theme going on here. I smoked the headlights, smoked the taillights. Give me your honest opinion. What do you think? Do you think I should do that in black? All right, so a little FYI. If you get a chance, go to our YouTube page. Go to playlist. This is just like, and this a little bit, but satin would kind of go, I don't know. Poll below, let me know. Tell me what you think ongoing series of my carbon we've got some supercharged s2000s we've got the series on the colorado we've got this is going to be expanded some intake manifold we have the series on george's mugen si and then we have a few turbo s2000s there's going to be way more in here some general s2000s uh the 19 z06 didn't do a whole lot with that the full series on the project integra there is going to be more added to that some k20 swaps the Civic hatch that we built for Curacell and a few others, my NSX is very, I'm not one-sided or brand loyal. If you watch any of our videos, you'll see that George and I have similar tasting cars. We're not just a die-hard this brand. Never been a believer in everything that Dodge make or Honda make or Chevrolet make you like. It's not true. I like what I like. So pretty diverse. Obviously my love for Hondas always comes first. So talking of playlist, I just found a whole bunch of my time slips from the NSX. If you didn't follow that, like I say, go to my playlist and take a look. I did a whole bunch on the NSX, but that car was pretty amazing in the quarter mile. It ran 11.2, 11.3 bone stock. And then with the exhaust system and the tuning, we got down to 10.7, uh, 10.7, 10.7, then my best time. Uh, I can't actually find my best time slip, which kind of sucks, but I did a 1062 on this one, but the same night 
I ran a 10.61, which is pretty darn fast. Actually, funny, I just talked to a friend of mine the other day and he said, yeah, guess what, I uh, just did a tune on my new car and took it to the drag strip and uh, it's run in a second faster than when you saw it last. I go, wow, that's, that's pretty amazing, you have the time slip? No, I didn't keep it, I threw it away. If you're anything like me, you've got every time slip going back to the beginning of time. So I linked this somewhere, but this is a video that has my old NSX in it. Check out this name right here. This NSX that they're riding in right now is my old NSX. If you scroll through somewhere where they first talk about it, um, you see right there, it's got the orange seat belts in. I was the first one to do orange seat belts, and I'm kind of glad that it's caught on because I think it really makes the car a little bit more special with the orange seat belts. There's a couple of other people done them now, and I did a how-to video on how to take your seat belts out and send them to uh, seatbeltplanet.com and put any color belt you want in your car. I did a video about that, um, but I think it might be in the beginning. They talk about going up to the cars and you can see my NSX and it still has the orange pipes on it. Uh, it's probably gone to commercial, skip ads. I know you guys are hating on the commercials, but but you can see at some point it has the orange charge pipes. You can see the orange seat belts, but there's a point where you can see a little glimpse. You can see the orange pipes in there. I first did them titanium, then I did them orange. Anyway, the, the reason I'm showing you this, I was kind of afraid of the car. I was afraid of blowing the thing up and the fact that I'd made it public knowledge that I'd tuned this car. I knew they wouldn't do anything with the warranty for me. They're gonna go, no, buddy, I've seen your car love YouTube. You've tuned it, that's why it blew up. Have a nice day. And I couldn't afford, I could not afford a new motor. But the fact that this is a car at an exotic rental track and you can go here and just run the car and not have a care in the world and the car is still running it's exactly the way as i left it it's running 10 6 in the quarter mile uh they estimated for the uh, when science of speed did the tuning it's making around 700 horsepower at the motor so it's quite quite tuned from factory state the fact that it's still in good shape and it's running just fine really is testament to that car i mean it's 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 absolutely amazing if you think about it but check this video out i'll try and link it in here but you'll see them just flog this nsx around the track and they talk about how much they like it what a what a great thing that the car is still running so of course youtube is a rabbit hole once you start on one video you can keep going and going and going and before you know it you watch every car that comes up hey you might also like this and it keeps going but if you stumbled across our channel, if you like any of our content, thank you. I appreciate you watching. And of course, really appreciate it if you give us a subscribe and a like and stick around and see more. But until then, we'll see you on the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, stay positive.